Alright guys, what's up here today? Jigsaw0097 just bringing you this um, final draft review here. I know it's been it's a little bit late compared to others, but I've been pretty busy this week and just finally got a day off here so I can go ahead and do this for you. So um, I'm going to just kind of go over the drafts here. I have the list up on my screen, uh, just what I think um, about the draft and just, just a Disclaimer here guys. I think that this was a completely successful draft. The Eagles addressed almost every need that I think we we had um, Plus some I mean maybe one more cornerback would have been good, but other than that it's it was a massive success in my opinion, so Excuse me, so um So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go over from from round one, the, the first pick, all the way down to the last pick, and I'll just kind of give you my grade on it. So the first overall pick, I already made a separate video about this, was Derek Barnett. He was a he's a defensive end out of Tennessee. Um, in my last video, though, I basically said I think that this is a great selection because the Eagles now have a legit um, defensive line, guys. This this defensive line with Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham was already scary. And now we got another guy that's a first round draft pick that's a, that's a superstar, hopefully. Um, and I see that Marcus Smith, they didn't take his fifth year option, so he's going to be gone. So I think that we have a legit front seven now, guys, with, um, with uh, Jim Schwartz. I don't know why I forgot his name. Yeah, Jim Schwartz's defense, I think, is going to finally shine this year in 2017. We're going to see... We're going to just see a completely different Eagles defense. Um, and that that's for other reasons, too, when I'll get to the, the cornerbacks. Um, but, yeah, Derek Barnett, guys. I see a lot of Eagles hate out there right now because they wanted um, Dalvin Cook, um, Christian McCarthy, whatever, McCaffrey, that was his name. I wanted McCaffrey just because... Um, he looked like a pretty good running back, but, but I'll, I'll get to this in a, in, in a minute. We got our running back, guys, and I think this guy's going to be a stud. So so I wouldn't even worry about that one. Um, so, yeah, Derek Barnett, solid first-round pick, Philly. I don't think it was wasted at all. I'm seeing a lot of Joe Douglas in this draft, which is great. They went real hard on defense. Um, but the next one, the number two pick, is Sidney Jones. Now, this one was huge for me, guys. This one is so polarizing right now with the fan base. It's just insane. He was injured before the draft, so a lot of people think that he's going to be a bust. But you got to realize, guys, this was a top 10 prospect before he got injured. This guy was projected to go in the top 10, which means the Eagles would have never even sniffed him. Um, because he got injured, this could be a blessing in disguise. Because think about it. We got Derek Barnett, and then we got Sidney Jones. We basically have two first-round picks this year, guys. And it's insane because we gave up all that stuff to get Carson Wentz, but it doesn't even feel like we did because we're still getting all these great players. So Sidney Jones is the probably the biggest exciting prospect for me just because he was a first, he, he was supposed to go in the top ten. He was he was projected to be I think they were saying he is the best cornerback in this draft, so so we nailed him. He's out of Washington. And this is just great, guys. Sidney Jones is—he's gonna be—he's gonna be like a—he's gonna be like a shutdown corner. I can just see it if he recovers well and the Eagles um, nurture him enough. He, now, I'm not saying this is just gonna happen right away. In fact, this year we might not even see a lot out of him. But I'm just saying, as a future building prospect here, this guy is phenomenal, and and the Eagles did great picking him up. And then in number three, the third round, we go for a cornerback yet again, Rashul, or Rasul Douglas. And this guy's out of West Virginia. Again, great pick just because we need cornerbacks. And I like that they just went boom, boom, got them both right in the top three there. Um, and that's just great. So, um, yeah, cornerbacks has been addressed. We will be able to um, evaluate this very well this year to see how, how we're doing. 
we um, and I think that I think that this is going to help a lot, guys. Our defense struggled so bad last year. We got rid of Nolan Carroll. He's now in Dallas, and I can't wait to watch Alshon Jeffrey fry him this year. And we got some new stud cornerbacks, so this is going to be so fun to watch. Um, and then we get to the fourth pick, which is also another great pick. We picked up Mac Hollins, wide receiver, big, fast guy, big, speedy guy. Um, I love this pick because basically this is kind of like what the Eagles needed. They needed a fast guy. They needed a guy that could spread defenses. Um, and also, Matt Collins, he's he's kind of big, kind of like Jordan Matthews. So I, I know I hate to say it, guys, but the current Eagles wide receivers before the draft, I think they're all in question now, which is really kind of – kind of weird I mean I know a lot of you guys like Jordan Matthews I do too but I think that he definitely underperforms most of the time he drops balls when he shouldn't that's all on him so um, he might be gone honestly guys I think this might be the last year for Jordan Matthews if these guys pan out especially if Alshon Jeffrey pans out the Eagles are going to want to lock him down until he retires probably so so yeah we'll just have to see where this goes but yeah Matt Collins great pick um this next one, guys, this is my second favorite pick of the draft. Donnell Pumphrey, running back out of San Diego State. This guy is Darren Sproles slash Shady McCoy in one, if you looked at his tape. The Eagles definitely knew what they were doing when they picked this guy. And, and it's hilarious because this guy, including myself, he just fell off everyone's radar. But then as soon as the draft, as soon as we picked him up, we went and looked at the highlights, and everyone's been wowed by this kid. So... We got him now, and we got Wendell Smallwood, two running backs that are young. I think those two are going to build off of Darren Sproles. I think I don't know if this is Darren Sproles last year, if he's going to do one more year, but hopefully he plays as long as we can have him because I want him to bring these young men up and, and uh, really make them the running backs that I see that they can be. Even Wendell Smallwood, guys, I think that he can be very good. We got rid of Kenyon Barner, a Chip Kelly guy. We can now build these new running backs, Wendell Smallwood, and then, of course, Donnell Pumphrey. Has the potential to be our number one running back, guys. You just have to see how it goes. But if Doug Peterson gives him enough carries and puts him out and exposes him enough, this could easily happen, guys. We could have our running back of the future. I know we still have Ryan Matthews on the team. It's kind of weird, but I think they're going to use him as well one more year. Just to have two veterans in there. And then I think that's what our running back set's going to be. It's going to be Ryan Matthews. It's going to be Darren Sproles. It's going to be Wendell Smallwood. And it's going to be Donnell Pumphrey. That's going to be the four running backs this year, guys. So just expect that. Um, Ryan Matthews has one more year on his deal. And then he could be gone based on what he does. If he's injured all season again this year, cut the ties, Doug. Just get rid of him. I mean, he's, he's injured all the time. So, I mean, I'm not saying that Ryan Matthews is bad. I think he's a great player. He just... He's just not ever healthy. He's healthy for like one or two games, and he's injured for like six. Just just can't have that. So, so yeah, guys, Donald Pumphrey, I give that an A-plus grade. Sorry I wasn't giving my gradings before. At the end of the video, I'll go through the whole list again, and I'll give the grades. Um, the number fifth pick right here is Shelton Gibson, wide receiver out of West Virginia. This guy I didn't know a lot about either very well, but um, he's another he's another really fast receiver it looks like. Um, so I think he'll be great as well just to add depth to the wide receiver um, core right there. And then at the fifth pick, we have Nathan Gary, linebacker, Nebraska. And then at the sixth, we have Elijah Qualls, um, DT from Washington. These last three picks, I really don't um, know a whole lot about them, guys. I'm sorry. I, I did some research on them, but I, I don't really know like what their big deal is. Um, I feel like they're just there for depth, you know. But you never know. That's the beautiful thing about the draft is these these players from the sixth round and the fifth round always can emerge up and be better than I thought they were. So anyway, guys, that's kind of my analysis on the draft here. I know it's not as detailed as maybe some of you might have liked, but I've just been super busy this week, and this is kind of what I can put together here. Um, but I'll just go ahead and I'll give you my ratings real quick. So Derek Barnett, I think he's easily an A. I mean, the guy is gonna be he's gonna be great. I think he's gonna be great. Sidney Jones, I'm gonna give that probably a B plus just because of the chance that he could be a bust because of the injury. 
So I'll give you guys that. I mean, the injury does play a factor here. I just don't think that it's going to ruin his career. He's he's very young. He can he can come out of this injury. I mean, you see guys you see guys like blow their Achilles tendons all the time or their ACLs and they're coming back just fine. So it's like look at Kiko Alonso. He's pretty much a beast again and he he had like what two of those. Sam Bradford, he's upright. So I think that um Sidney Jones, he's going to have some turnaround some high turnaround for us. He's going to be a steal. He's going to be a steal. In the next three years, they're going to be talking about how much of a steal he was. But I will give him a B plus for now just because there is that question mark on him. Um, Rochelle Douglas, cornerback. Um, I'll probably give him a B plus as well just because we don't really know what his talent level is yet on the NFL level. From what I've seen, he was very good in college, but we'll just have to see how he transitions. Mac Hollins, I'm going to give an A as well because um, the Eagles needed a guy like this. They needed a physical presence, um, and also speed is a huge factor with this Eagles offense. Um, we all miss the days of Jeremy Macklin and Deshaun Jackson, so Mac Hollins, be our guy. That's what I'm, I'm hoping. Donnell Pumphrey is my only A plus in this grade, just because I think that everything about that pick at number four. The fact that he's a running back that we needed, the fact that he's like a Shady McCoy slash Darren Sproles, the fact that he's speedy, can juke, everything about Donald Pumphrey I think is just going to be completely positive for the Eagles. And he's, if he proves me, he's going to be one of the next jerseys I buy, guys. That, that's just how it is if he's that good. So I'm not trying to jinx it or anything, but I just think that this kid is going to be great. Watch him. And then we go to Shelton Gibson, wide receiver. I'll give these. I'll give this a B as well, just because um, obviously that's just the guy that was there when they took the fifth round pick. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying these last three picks: Shelton Gibson, Nathan Gary, and Elijah Qualls. I'll give them all just like a B because they were there, and I really don't know enough about them to judge that if they're going to be good or not. So, so overall, I'm going to give this draft um, an A minus overall if you go from everything that I talked about, which is a really good grade, guys. I think that the Eagles just really nailed it in this draft, especially considering how much we gave up to get Carson Wentz and then to have Howie Roseman make all these crazy deals, um, getting Bradford to Minnesota, and I think he traded like one of our round, one of our picks for like two more picks so we can get more. We got a lot out of this draft. We got eight total players, which is insane, after we gave up the boat for Carson Wentz, which it doesn't even feel like that. It's so weird. We gave up all this stuff for Carson Wentz, but now we're like building a legit team better than what Chip Kelly was doing, and we have Nick Foles back. It's like the Eagles are just really coming together, guys, and it's just insane to watch. I can't wait for this football season. Um, but anyway, this is going to be my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, sorry if it was not as informative as you would have liked it to be, but... Um, that's just kind of just kind of how it is. So yeah, if you guys have any comments, leave them down below. We can start the discussion of what you guys think about the draft. Um, are you excited for this Eagle season? Like I am. You should be. You should be. Um, but anyway, leave your leave your opinions down below. You can like or dislike the video. And if you enjoyed this, I have plenty of other Eagles videos on here, and I do regular Eagles news as well. Um, so if you like, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching my stuff. And I hope you guys have a great one. This has been Jigsaw0097, and I will talk to you all later.